Alright, fine. I'll bite. You seem to be the only one in here who knows. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Where is Madanok? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madanok, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Right. I'm going to assume that Borkel is this orc over here, but... Madanok's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Great. Mm -hmm. Alright. Doesn't scare me much. The new meat. So soft. Tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Frankly, at this point... I carried much guilt about it. Ah, uh, the gods have a place for killers. You can't carry the burden. You're weak. I need to see Madanok. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> I don't have a shiv. Then find one. That dung he grizzvar has been known to make a few. Ah. You know, that explains why you haven't killed him already. The one person in here besides me that isn't a Forsworn, and they keep him around because he makes shoes. Sounds about right. Alright, where is he? Hey, Grisvar. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. Yeah, I heard. I need a shiv. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. You're kidding me, right? I don't think so. All right. But if you change your mind, not like we're going anywhere. All right, then. I'm just going to fetch your skooma for someone you. Someone said I was a forsworn. <sighs> this is going to be more difficult than I imagined, isn't it? You know what? In a place like this, the only protection I need is a pickaxe and my fists. I left behind my dog oh, shut up. when I was taken. You sir, prison's not so bad. Less complaints when I kill people. Huh. Right. Ready to pay the toll? One shiv. You know what? How about I fight you over it? That's what I was hoping you'd say. Really? Come on. Let's see what you've made of. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Those gauntlets hardly make this fair, don't you think? That's the best you can do. Come on, it's so tough. You're a fool to fight. Maybe I am. Gods, <laughs> no! Come on. I'm hardly breaking a sweat. I'll show you what a real orc can do. Hmm. I'll show you what a real Nord can do. Stay down. It's been so long since I tasted my own blood. Sour. 
So, you let me through now? Yeah, yeah. Go on in. That's what I thought. Huh. <laughs> I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. Yeah, I was sent here because I killed Forsworn. You serve your time by digging, so dig. You want to say that to me again after I just broke your nose? Not much of a bodyguard, that one. There's a passage down there. <sighs> so you're Madanok. Well, well, look at you. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? I do want revenge. But you have a lot to answer for. I'm more interested in those answers. Do I? What about you? What right did you have to meddle in my affairs? Kill my people? Was it worth it? Your truth? You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. How could I po How should I possibly understand that? Nobody is stepping on my throat right now, except you. There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Alright. I'll play your game. Our struggle is our people's struggle. I'll play your game, old man. I walk in here with his bodyguard's blood all over my hands and... That's what he tells me? He calls me a beast? You serve your time by digging, so dig. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Maybe I am. Maybe I am a beast. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. You don't have to tell me that every time you see me. I'm old, but I'm not deaf. Not completely. Don't reach for a shiv around me, or we'll both regret it. You and I both know I don't have a shiv. Madanok asked me to hear your story. My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? I grew up a skull. I haven't felt chains until the moment I was thrown into this pit. So you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? Yes, I do. They're in Morrowind. If you can believe it. A daughter. And a granddaughter. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Madanak once. That was enough. But my little Aether didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway, to dig up their silver. I'm sorry. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. 
I'm just a poor forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. You think your story justifies the murders the Forsworn have committed? Are you serious? I'm not, Modenak. I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Till next time. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. <clears throat> what am I supposed to say to that? What are you looking at? Well, I suppose I'm the guilty then. My son is dead. I think that's what I was struggling with before, with Nepos. How many of them had families? How many Forsworn in that cave had families? And where are they? But that doesn't excuse anything. Who's right here? The Forsworn or the Nords? The Nords... Did we start this? Or did the Forsworn start this? What do I say to any of that? Yes, the Nords... We killed... We killed many Forsworn. That much is clear. Has the retaliation been... Too much... Or warranted? Damn it, this is what Madanok wants. He wants me to hear that sob story and forget my anger. The gods have a place for murderers. You 
you serve your time by digging. So dig. Well... The only anger I can justify is my own. You're a slave, just like us. I talked to Brig. I heard this story. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Spare me your speeches, old man. You know they won't work on me. Huh. You know, I'm almost beginning to like you. But you haven't earned your place out of here yet. Have you met Grisbar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief. And a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him. And then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. I'm not going to do that until you answer my questions about the Forsworn. Is that clear? This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. What about Thonar? What was your deal with him? I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar's Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. Interesting. Our vengeance will come. You know... I think I've heard a tale like that before. Refusing to let us worship our gods. They're just like the Stormcloaks. Who fought them. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was Oh, shut up. 